Hi, this is Pete from FMI Enterprises. I'm an auto dealer here in Southern California, and today I have a beautiful 1983 Porsche 911 Cabriolet. This was the first year of the 911 Cabriolet coming back. Um, it's a beautiful car. It's a one owner car from Florida. It runs and drives excellent. Had the mechanic look over the car and uh, everything on the car looks very good. There's no oil leaks underneath. Um, starts, runs, drives very well. Has an excellent set of Pirelli tires all around matching factory Fuchs wheels. Great looking driving car. All the reflectors, all in very nice condition. Not cracked. Convertible top looks excellent. You can see the photos on that. The rear window is clear as day, like brand new. Windshield glass looks excellent. No cracks in it. Very nice. Paint job is in very nice condition. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. It's not a brand new paint job. It does have some uh, nicks on it here and there. But, I mean, overall, it's a, I think it's a very nice looking paint job. Um, it's not a restored car. Uh, by any means, it's a just a nice car. It's, it's um, a car very well kept, obviously garaged. Um, all the rubber, everything around the car, all the trim and whatnot looks looks very nice. The bumper guards, the fog lights, these boots here, very nice and clean. Nothing's dried out or fallen apart. The uh, rubber here on the front windshield, it's nice and soft. So it's a, yeah, it's a very nice car. Mirrors, power mirrors, power mirrors both work. Um, the Pirelli tires are uh, P zeros, and they are um, they look like brand new tires. Just about, I mean, the tread is just about like brand new, I'd say. Um, and that's all around and the matching. Factory emblem looks excellent. Grill in the back here. It's got the the boot here that clips on, that snaps on to the uh, over the convertible top. It's a bit shrunk. It probably hadn't been on for years, um, but I tried to make it fit. I I don't want to force it and damage it, but um, you know the car is uh, like I said, it's a nice car. You can see the interior is very clean as well. The dash looks very nice. All the way across um, the dash face you know the glove box looks excellent it's clean on the inside it's got an old-school Alpine uh, radio I think that's an Alpine if I'm not mistaken uh, it looks very nice it actually works all the gauges work in very nice physical physical condition the gauges um, seats both in very nice condition leather it's that's leather all the way and that's very nice, um, very nice soft leather. The material is uh, very pliable, and you, know, you can just tell the person that had this. It's a one owner car, so the guy or girl um, took very good care of the car. You can see it shows the passenger driver's seat very clean over here. Carpet kit looks excellent all around. It's got the um, the nice Porsche embroidered uh, floor mats here that go on the top, and then underneath you've got the uh, you know the original carpet kit that it probably came with most likely. Under here, you can see the the floors are nice and clean. Um, I've got a photo of it. I don't want to pull the floor mat out, but you know you can see the carpet. Carpet's nice. All around here, you've got a Momo um, shift knob here, the boot, nice and soft. The center console here, very good condition. You can see it's not all scratched up or, you know, it's not like somebody ever tried to, you know, do a cheap restoration job, if you know what I mean. Um, just very nice. 
original condition. It's got a um, looks looks what uh, looks to me like a brand new uh, AC compressor. Um, it's nice and clean. It blows cold. Um, it doesn't blow like ice cold like a brand new car, but it does work and it turns on. It blows cold air, colder air, I should say. The knobs look excellent. Um, and it's got the cigarette lighter, the hazards, everything here works. Turn signals work. Horn works. The knobs and stuff. Just, you know, the car is, uh, I think the car is in really nice condition. Okay, here in the glove box, you've got the uh, faceplate cover. You've got the uh, convertible top release tool. A little bit of touch-up paint. Um, you got some fuses, a couple light bulbs, and uh, tape head, care fluid. So, you know, in case your Huey Lewis in the news doesn't sound like it should, you know, just clean that off. Heads and door panels look excellent. It's got a set of kicker speakers. You can see the K down there. That means kicker. Those are nice speakers uh, with the tweeter up top. You can see it's a uh, pocket. It's a nice shape. Closes the, the lock on both sides. Locks both side work with the key. You can lock and unlock it. The door jams look clean. Touching here, I you know I, I want to say it's original paint, but I, I'm not sure 100%. It looks looks pretty clean. Door jam, sill plates are nice. Door jam up front looks good. The rubber around the window is clean. Look at that, nice and nice and fresh. Looks like it was uh, recently you know, recently replaced, I'd say, along with this piece of rubber here. You can see the visors are really nice. They're not all loose. They're in really good shape on both sides. The rear, rear of the seats, nice condition. The rear uh, seating area looks very good. I've got photos of that. You can check it out. But the, all the seat belts are there. The uh, material on the seats is very clean. Um, under the boot here is the uh, backrest, of course. I don't want to rip all that out right now. Um, the uh, carpet in the back, I've got the little the floor mats for the back that go over these uh, rugs here. I'll show that in a second. And the doors pop when they close. Seat looks very nice. It's got a little wear spot right there on that edge of the seat. The carpeting over here looks excellent. Same thing, very nice underneath the carpeting. You can see the photo I have of it, but it's there's no holes or wear spots in it or anything. Um, the door jam again looks looks very nice. The sill plate. See the uh, original VIN sticker. It's clean. The engine runs excellent. I'll start it up in a moment. Um, you can see there's the uh, AC compressor I'm talking about. It looks brand new. Car, the engine runs great. Um, yeah, it just looks it looks looks very nice. You can see that fan, how clean that is. It looks like it's was replaced. And um, great running car. This does not stay up, so it must need a either a spring or little hood shock back there probably needs to be replaced comes with um, two keys here I'll start it up shifter is very tight the bushings obviously have been redone shifts very well Here's the engine running so she runs very well. Got all the original stickers in the back. And last but not least, I'll show the uh, 
trunk and the gas door area. Gas door, it's got the original flap in there. Looks like the original gas cap. Maybe it was replaced with a Porsche one, I'm not sure, but very clean. I need two hands to close that. Okay, and uh, trunk compartment. The struts are a bit weak there, holding that up. Um, here I've got a case for the uh, boot cover, which is on top on top of the back over there. And here I've got a like a, a cover for when the top is down. Um, it, you know, you put it over the whole entire car, and you can keep the top down with the uh, with the top. You can keep the, the top over the car without having the top up. If that makes any sense. So it comes with it, with the cover for the uh, boot cover. Here are the floor mats for the for the uh, rear area. Nice condition. We've got the uh, tool for the uh, spare tire, which it has. We got the full tool kit right here. Got all the tools, all the factory tools and stuff came with it. Um, yeah, so that's very nice. And under here, nice battery, fires it up every time. Got the spare tire, good shape. It um, has a little air blower right there to pump it up. Um, I've got pictures of this uh, trunk compartment here, but you can see it's nice and clean in here. So, uh, yeah, there's no rust in there. All right, I, don't, I don't see any accident damage or anything like that. So it's nice and clean all around the car. Fuse box looks good. And um, I put this stuff back in here. So, uh, let's take a ride. You hear the door buzzer working, uh, all the lights. The lights working. signals I flip it there we go turn signal see the lights is finally after working that one's out turn signal working Right side, turn signal working, and signal working. So you'll have to take my word for it about the brake lights working. Okay, turn that off. Um, gas gauge working, oil pressure, um, oil level, or oil pressure, oil level, um, temperature gauge. Speedometer, tachometer, or tachometer, speedometer, and the clock. I haven't played with the clock, but um, e brake, nice and strong. The heater boxes work, it blows hot air when you pull those up like it's supposed to. And like I said, um, you turn this on and you'll get AC. So you've got cold AC, colder AC. In the air, and there's the uh, control for the blower speed, I believe. Or this is the blower speed, and this is the temperature, I think. Anyway, it does work, which is uh, pretty rare. And uh, like I said, the radio works as well. Um, let's 
So, um, yeah, that works. And um, let's see. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here, but but anyway, it does work. Whoops. So let me show you that that never happens. So it goes in perfectly every time, and the the. Uh, Transmission shifts very well. It's nice and tight. The um, the bushings, uh, like I said, I believe they they've been replaced. So it's obviously the perfect time to drive a uh, Porsche like this. Plenty well, times a good time to drive a Porsche like this, but uh, especially now, summertime, it's almost over. But um, car drives very well. Uh, I've driven it on the freeway. Obviously, I've driven it around town. Um, really good. Uh, running car drives goes through all the gears no grinding at all nice and tight it's not a like a loose feeling transmission like a lot of these uh, older 911 SCs are this one shifts very nice very tight the engine runs excellent um, it drives straight straight as an arrow it doesn't you know bump around or bounce uh, the brakes work excellent the pedal is high and hard um, press on it it you know you downshifts perfectly no grinding handles great And uh, what else could I say? I mean, the car, the car is all there. The car is a very nice little car. Um, if you're looking for a class, a classic uh, collectible Porsche, this is um, not a bad choice. I mean, they're um, it's a it's a one year only car in certain respects. Um, this car, it's a first year only car. Um, both power window regulators work no problem there. Go up and down. They're not slow. The very windows are very tight. Same thing in here. Is up, down, no problem. Secrete, secrete glass. On both sides. Um, the door locks, like I said, work no problem. The door handles. The door panel over here looks excellent. Pocket, nice and tight kicker speakers did I leave anything out I hope not um, I pretty much made a documentary here I know um, but I'm just trying to show uh, what I've got here and um, you know the car is um, it's a nice car it's not a brand new car but uh, very collectible um, nice condition clean non-smoker car uh, Florida owned one owner and uh, no accidents on the auto check. Um, yeah, I showed that. So that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, the mirrors, the key on, the mirrors work. Yep. And the other one, I think you hit this switch here. Maybe not. This mirror works fine. I don't know how to make the other one work. I thought this was the switch. Anyway. That's what it is. It's a nice car. Give me a call if you have any questions. Thank you very much.